For lesson four, we're going to create a title block so we can print the overall dimensions of the table. So if you notice, we go from model to layout, and we don't need this particular layout here, so I'm going to just erase it or delete it. And I'm going to make our own. So in the annotation, you'll see the table. And I'm going to make sure that the columns and the rows are 1, 1, and the height at 1, and the width of 3 and a half inches. And just make sure it jives with what I just created. And we're going to go ahead and use this for the information. We're going to put your name. and the date. And it's really imperative that you put the scale. So type in scale and then the colon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the four views. So we'll go to the layout and you'll see named and you can click the select the icon or just simply in the command line type in viewport. Uh, viewports, enter. And then we want four equal. The setup, I think it defaults to 2D. Make sure it's on 3D. And then press OK. And it's defaulting to conceptual. And we do want the conceptual. You can always change it later. But it's best if you set it up. And then on the top left corner, drag it so it's at the top of the title block information. And then let's go ahead and select these bottom three. So we want to make sure that we're in the paper mode and then select the bottom three or the left, the top view, the left view, and the front view. And the scale that we want to do this is three quarter inches equals one foot dash zero inches and you can see it on the bottom. Now that is going to be our scale that we're going to type in. On the What we're seeing here in the top, in the isometric view, let's go ahead and change this. And what we want to do is make sure that we're not in the paper mode, but in the model mode. And then we're going to go to the orbit, and we're going to move it around. And for more of dramatic effect, let's go ahead and click onto the perspective and right click, and you should see the perspective and create a view that you like. Typically the grommets are at the rear of the table so have the front of the table facing you or the viewer. And the pan, you can move it up. So you want to play around with the model mode and the paper mode. And it's critical that when you're putting dimensions or, or typing that you're in the paper mode because they will not appear in the model. We don't want that. We want this only to be in the paper mode. And so we have the scale, 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot dash 0 inches. And we want to type that in there along with your name and, your, and the date. And you can enable the auto stacking. It's, it just has a different graphical representation. And these are very helpful if you have a scale ruler, putting this in. And the reason why this is not full scale is because it would be huge and you would need to actually uh, have a plotter, not a printer, to, to, to take this out of the computer. And then go ahead and type in text, T-E-X-T. -E and the type that we actually want is going to be at half an inch so you can play around with different sizes. That's at uh, a quarter of an inch. It's this very similar size of the uh, the name and the date. But I think we want to actually change that. So type in text. And then go ahead and uh, select where you want the text to go. And this is going to be at half an inch. And so go ahead and 
once you have the rotation at zero, go ahead and type in table or wood table. And you want to hit the escape key after you push enter to deactivate it. So make sure you do that otherwise it just disappears. And then you'll see a little blue tab that you can move around and center it. And the great thing is you go to the model, it should not appear any anything going, uh, anything that you've just done. So it's a separate working area. All right, so you can go to extents to make sure that you're zooming in on just what you need on this on the sheet. And let's go to, to the dimensions and the annotations. And these are just general um, dimensions. Typically when people manufacture tabletops, they'll actually export what we've just created to a machine as a DWG file from AutoCAD. So the dimensions are more referenced than anything else here. And then 36 inches, which was the depth of the table. And we're just going to give it some overall overall dimensions here. And it should snap to the corners. If it doesn't, zoom in as best you can. Tabletop height is 29, which is standard. Again, zoom in as you need. And it's, it's important that your dimensions don't overlap each other. It gets very confusing, and it's not to the uh, proper etiquette or procedure to have your dimensioning overlapping. And let's go ahead and, and get the angle of this. If you remember, we typed in 2 which is going to be 88 degrees here. And, and you want to manipulate this so it fits within underneath the, the table. And then again, if you, if you find yourself lost, just go to the view window and zoom in on what you need. And then go back to the annotate dimension. And we're going to do the, the grommet radius. So it, it, when you dimension a circle, you always dimension to the center of the circle. So you wouldn't use the traditional linear. It has to be done to the center. Either a radius or a diameter would be fine. And then we're going to show the height of the leg where it meets the support structure. And that's 24 inches. And you don't need to dimension everything. A lot of this you can, after you print it out, you can add and subtract from the different views to figure out what it is. And this is a general overview again. Now, I don't need it to this degree, so I'm going to select all the dimensions. I don't need the hundred thousandths. And I'm going to go to the properties. And let's go ahead and change that. So you're going to have to find on the menu and the properties. And sometimes they're hidden below, so you just m minimize one. And there you see the precision at point zero zero. And you see it all done does it automatically and that, that's gonna that's gonna be fine. And you have completed the exercise. So you want to print that out and then go back and inspect your table. Make sure that there are no dimensions because if there are, if you see dimensions, then you have been working not in the paper view but in the model view. And inspect your table and you've completed the activity of building the wood table with a grommet and four legs and a support structure. And save your work.